Hi guys, you're here with Magali Darga for DJ Mag Indonesia. I'm here with Headhunter. Yes, that's me. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Jakarta. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, you haven't had the chance to go around, yeah, sadly? Not at all. I just arrived a couple yeah. of hours ago and, uh, well, I've been enjoying my time in my hotel room so far. <laughs> well, you've been traveling this past month, if I'm not mistaken. Tell us more about that. Yeah, I did like a whole tour. I did uh, Bangkok, mm. I did Beijing, I did uh, Stereo Sonic in Australia, which is yeah. like all the big cities in Australia, mm. and then Singapore, and now I'm here. So. Then next destination? Yeah, home. Home. <laughs> so, um, what? How have 2005 been for you? 2005. Christine, oh my God! <laughs> no, you. <laughs> 2005, I mean, I have to, like, let me, like, dig in my memory right now. Yeah. Uh, 2015, um, it, it's been a very, very um, exciting year. <laughs> very exciting year. Um, I've been working harder than ever before because um, I knew that that's what it takes if I, I, I took on a new challenge uh, last year. So I kind of gathered all my strength and uh, all my focus, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making more music than I've ever made in, in the last year. So. Yeah, so there will be an album coming out soon? Not, not necessarily an album, but there is a lot of music coming. Uh, I mean, like, consistently mm. putting music out, yeah. So um, what else? Um, <laughs> so. Are you excited about Jakarta Warehouse? Uh, very excited. Yeah. Uh, I, I, from what I gathered, mm -hmm. there is not a lot of parties in Jakarta like this. So I feel very honored to be a part of this and to play for a crowd that is extra excited because they, I mean, a lot of like other countries like the United States or Europe, they get parties like every weekend, you know. But when people don't get that many parties, it's mm -hmm extra exciting so yeah and you also had two labels before if i'm not mistaken your sub label um yeah hard with style mm -hmm. yeah yes i had hard with style yes um i mean it's technically still mine yeah but uh i kind of gave the responsibility and the task to uh, you know take care of it to another guy to audio freak okay. right now because I'm focused on doing different stuff, yeah. Okay, so 2016 will be definitely doing new stuff, new sound, new music. You're challenging yourself, and which direction are you going through? Uh, I mean, for the people that were shocked last year, they will be get shocked again yeah. because, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I will, I, I, I don't plan on standing still right now. I don't plan on settling in any genre. I just plan on being creative and expressing myself in the way that I feel at the, the moment in particular. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, I'll be trying to broaden my horizons even further. So It's amazing and I want to know who inspired you to become a DJ? Who inspired me to become a DJ? Yeah. Uh, that would be probably... I mean, I think in the very first place, Tiesto, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, he was like the first Dutch superstar DJ. I mean, the first superstar DJ in the whole world. Yeah. So I think I got very inspired by that. I mean, my mother, she went to... I mean, Tiesto used to own a record store okay. in, in Holland. And my mother went to the record store and she got back with like a signed vinyl uh, copy for me. Like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in 2003. Yeah. And he's going to be closing the party, and so are you. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, really? I'm going to lose that big time. <laughs> My stage is going to be empty. <laughs> no, it's no. We all will be there. <laughs> so Tiesto definitely inspired you. And for the future, for the young DJs out there, do you have any advice for them? Yeah, just be really focused. Um... um and just make as many hours as you can producing music. That's, exactly. that's the thing, yeah, definitely. So keep on producing. Do you, what do you do on your free time? What do you enjoy doing on your 
What do I? Uh, I mean, I appreciate my time at home a lot because yeah. I'm traveling a lot. Um, I I'm practically when I'm at home, I ma I make a lot of music, but I definitely enjoy my time off with my loved ones, you know, my family, my friends, and. Uh, um, yeah, I have some stuff that I do on my own, but I'm a very boring person. I just read books, I meditate, I uh, quiet, keep quiet. No, I think that's amazing. <laughs>